Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to my August book haul. I was like, wrap up? No, that's a different video. That will be uploaded very soon as well. But today I'm going to show you guys the six books that I bought in August, which I think is a pretty good number. I'm very proud of myself. I definitely could have bought more. Let's just dive into the book haul. <laughs> The first book that I'm gonna show to you guys is a spoiler for my latest video, which is my August Fairy Loot unboxing. So if you haven't seen that unboxing, I would highly recommend you to do so. So I will leave a link to that video somewhere here up on the screen. But the book that was featured in the August Fairy Loot box with the theme Mutinous Pirates, I believe was how you pronounced it. That book is These Rebel Waves by Sarah Rosh. This is a gorgeous hardcover because first of all, the cover, second of all, the sprayed pages, plus it is also signed by the author. Look, oh my God. And it even has a special like Fairy Loot logo inside of it. I don't really know what this book is about because the names were really hard to pronounce and it's like a lot of information just in the synopsis so I'd say if you are interested in reading this book go check out the synopsis on Goodreads because then you can read it for yourself and if I'm trying to explain it it will not really like give you much information. Next up I have Dread Nation by Justina Ireland and I don't know much about this book besides it being sort of like a zombie apocalypse survival story which I am all about. Back in the day like three or four years ago The Walking Dead was my absolute favorite TV show ever. Right now I still haven't watched season eight because the seasons are just getting downhill but I love zombie stories. I love apocalypse stories. I don't want it to happen in real life, but in stories, I love it. I've heard amazing things about this book. I believe on Goodreads, this has like a 4.25 out of five stars, which is mind blowing. I don't know a lot of details about this book, but it looks really badass. It does. Ooh, the next book. I never would have thought that I would be this excited about this book, but it is Leah on the Offbeat. That is a bright color uh, by Becky Albertalli. And I wasn't excited expecting like ever to pick this one up because Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, I read it last year and I liked it, but I definitely did not enjoy it as much as the majority of people. Then this month, spoiler alert for my August wrap up, I read The Upside of Unrequited and absolutely adored the crap out of that book. It is one of my favorite contemporaries of all time. I just could relate so much to that book. I just, I really wanted to see what I would think of this one. I've heard mixed things about it. I feel like most people said that there wasn't really happening much in this book. I didn't really like love Leah in Simon, but um, she's a plus size girl who loves to drum. I mean, we're just gonna have to check it out. It would be another LGBTQ plus read because I believe that Leah is bisexual. Yes, she is. So that's always really good representation. I am really excited to find out what I will think of this book. This month, I also went to London with my best friend. Oh my God. Frédéric, hi, if you're watching, probably not. We went to London together at the beginning of August and it was the best trip that I've ever had. I bought two books, plus I received one from a friend of mine, which I met up in London. I will first show you the two books which I bought myself. So the first one is The Girl of Ink and Stars by Karen Millwood Hargrave. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, but I'm doubting it. What this book is about, this is a fairly like short synopsis, so I can read it to you guys. Forbidden to leave her island, Isabella dreams of the faraway lands her father once mapped. When her best friend disappears, she's determined to be part of this search party. Guided by an ancient map and her knowledge of the stars, Isabella navigates the island's dangerous forbidden territories. But beneath the dry rivers and dead forests, a fairy myth is stirring from its deep. Da, da, da. <laughs> I've heard a couple of like Dutch booktubers talk about this and it just seems like a beautiful middle grade read and I want to read more middle grade because it's easier to read. Hopefully I will love this one. The last book that I bought myself is a gorgeous book and I love the authors of this book. That is Eve of Man by Giovanna and Tom Fletcher. If you don't know Tom Fletcher, I feel like you've lived under a rock. You need to look up his like wedding vow video because he like sang his wedding vows and it just makes me like happy cry all the time that I watch it. An amazing video. You just need to see it. His wife, Giovanna, has written a lot of books before. I believe he has too. Wife and husband have teamed up and I believe this is a dystopian novel, but I'm not too sure. But look at the gorgeous cover. Plus, it's also signed by the author because I bought this in Waterstone. You remove the dust jacket. I mean, hello, honey. I don't know if you can see it really well, but here's a girl and there is a guy on the bottom. All her life, Eve has been kept away from the opposite sex, kept from the truth of her past. But at 16, it's time for Eve to face her destiny. Three potential males have been selected for her. The future of humanity is in her hands. 
She's always accepted her faith until she meets Bram. Eve wants control over her life. She wants freedom. But how do you choose between love and the future of the human race? So yeah, it's signed by both of these wonderful people and I just love the two of them like so incredibly much. Plus I've heard amazing things about this book. So that was mainly like the thing that made me buy it. And then the last book that I have to show to you guys is a book which I got from Karis from Karis on Reading. She is one of my favorite people in the entire planet. She gave this for my birthday, which which was back in April but we haven't seen each other in like two years and then we met up in London which was amazing it was so fun to see her again I got Starfish by Akemi Don Bowman again hard name to pronounce I hadn't heard of this book before but Kara said that a lot of her friends were talking about this one and that it's supposed to be a really really good coming-of-age story plus look at the cover it's such a pretty book cover thank you so much again Kara for this book I'm so happy with it these are the six books that I bought in August I feel like I've done a quite a good job with like restraining myself. Let's see and hope that I will do the same with the next upcoming months of 2018. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Because I am a booktuber, of course I have Goodreads, but I also have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to those will be in the description bar down below as well. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!